All right, so let's get the rejuvenator oil on the leather. And so this stuff is opposite of what you'd think. All right, so here's what we got. We've got uh, Pristine Clean, which is the leather cleaner, and then we have the rejuvenator oil. Uh, and so this works kind of counterintuitively in that um, we actually use the, the oil to clean or lift the dirt from the surface and then we use this uh, reju or the pristine clean to follow up later on and you know and, and and hit the you know hit the surfaces afterward but this leather is pretty you know seems pretty brittle it's beat up uh, it's still nice and tight um, there's some dirt in the cracks and crevices here so before I get the rejuvenator out I'm just going to take some some cockpit just kind of spray it in here just get the, get the sediment and stuff, the dirt out of the, out of the crevices. You know, I vacuumed the seat beforehand. So I just want to get whatever's left in there out of there. Now again, this is the seat that's torn with the rips. But the back, I'm probably going to keep. I don't know. We'll see. But I've got the thing out. Let's get it softened up. It'll probably help these rips over time anyway. All right, so we're going to take some of the oil. I'm going to dump it in my container, a little applicator. We've got just a little Terry wax applicator. I'm going to put it in there. And you can't, like, you can use as much of this crap as you want. But we want to get it up in there, get it in all the cracks and crevices. Get it all up in the stitching. I'm going to do the back of the seat as well. You do one section at a time, and then you take your hands, heat them up, and you just work it in. Get it in all those spots. So we're working it into the pores of the leather so that it can get in there and then lift the dirt, the oils, all the junk can lift it to the surface. This blue sponge is getting blue stuff all over the place. This stuff really is amazing. I mean, it, this process that, you know, it tells you to do it every few months. I'd say once a year is probably fine. If that. Now, I think this stuff is just some derivation of like animal fat or something. So I don't think we really have to worry about gloves and chemicals and things like that, but. I might be making that up. By the way, I learned this at Esoteric. So this isn't my, this isn't me. This is, this is Todd Cooper Rider right here. I stole this directly from him. He showed us how to do it, taught us how to do it at the, at the, training I'm telling you though if you you know if you if you're really into detailing even if it's just a hobby you know i think it's much more than a hobby for me gosh 
gosh, that's stupid blue. But I would highly suggest, you know, it's $1,500. One, it'll be, if you're into it, it'll be super fun. But mainly, the lessons you'll learn and the time you'll save Going to an event like that, learning from the experts, is invaluable. Plus, you get a darn wholesale account. I think I bought this. From, yeah, I bought this from them. Paid a lot less for it. And maybe not. I think I bought this before I went there. Yeah. All right. So there's that. Pour a little more in here. Let's do the base. When I'm done here, I'll wipe it off all the plastics. The other thing, I think if you have Alcantara, I don't think you want this touching the Alcantara. So I would urge you to not, not let that get on there. Yeah, the heat from your hands is what helps get this in the surfaces, get it in the cracks and crevices, helps you lift the dirt out. Now it's going to have to sit on here for a while. Okay, let's flip the seat around here. Let's get the back side. And then we'll wipe off the plastics. <clears throat> this is all leather too. Way better than trying to do that, do this in that tiny car. You do this to the Raptor as well. I mean, I won't take the seats out, but. All right, so let's flip this around. I'm gonna put some more on the surface. You wanna put a liberal amount, I think. So, again, I hit, this, I hit it once you know, and activated it. And so now I'm just gonna add another layer, nice and thick, lots and lots of stuff, lots and lots of product. You, again, you can't use really too much of this stuff.
This is the worst pad ever. So again, I'm caking this on. Get this all in here because it's going to absorb it, suck it into the seat. So the way that this works, you know, I'm going to let this sit overnight, you know, out of the car, just over to the side here. And so I'll come back and actually what I'll do, and you know, I'm going to work on the other seat, I'll come back in two or three hours, kind of look and see how the leather's doing. And the, and the way that you can tell how this works, and again, this is all this is all Todd Todd Cooper Rider. I'll put a link to his video, which is probably much better than mine, on how this you know how to do this. But um, basically, what you'll what you'll notice is that this stuff you know if it gets sucked into the surface, so if it gets sucked into the leather, you'll see some flat spots. So if it's not shiny. That's how you know that you need more product. So you just keep adding until it, you know, until the till it stays shiny. So once the shiny goes away, you know you need more. If the shiny stays after you've let it sit for a day or two, then you know it's time to remove it. Okay. So that seat's done. I'm going to take this, set this down, put it aside. Before I do that, I'm just going to wipe this off the plastics just in case. I don't think it'll hurt them, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So that's seat number one. I'll come back to you in the video and we'll do seat number two in a little bit. So we're going to do the same process to this seat. Just get the junk out of it. Notice how the thing is kind of wobbling around because it's not even sitting on the frame rails. It's sitting on the base of the seat. So notice there's a gap here because the seat comes down, the back of the thing only goes down like a quarter of an inch, but the base of the seat transitions pretty substantially, moves a lot lower. All right, so let's do our thing here. you just give you an idea how much you were using here so we'll do the hot hand trick get it all in there cracks crevices on this leather especially this section maybe not here I'm probably going to use a leather brush to brush it out now they're black seats, so we're not going to see as dramatic of a difference from a clean versus dirty perspective, but we are going to see a pretty dramatic difference, I think, in how matte and clean it looks instead of, I mean, even before the leather rake, we have some shine or a sheen to the leather that we don't, I don't want. I'm going to pull all these 10 years of 11 years of oil and dirt that this car has accumulated out of the leather. So again, I might, I might do some 
custom upholstery or because look at the bolsters are great in this so I might do some sort of take it down to a custom upholster or maybe have the center section as Alcantara do some sort of deviated stitching or something which I'm usually not a huge fan of but do something subtle like like silver or something like that I know dudes like red stitching and all that but I don't So I'll do something extremely boring to suit me. All right, so let's do the side here. I think there's leather also on the on the door panel, so I might go hit that real quickly too. I would have been done with this a long time ago if I wasn't jerking around with a passenger seat. And again, I probably wouldn't have taken it off and done as good of a treatment so I guess it works out so we'll get these dialed in with leather reek and it'll probably be a year before I go and actually get the seats reupholstered re all right let's slop some on the on the front again I'll wipe off the plastics real quickly and we'll be done. Tomorrow we'll come back, spot check it, and then do the actual cleaning part. So let's go take a look at the other. It's been sitting here for several hours. So I don't really see any dry spots yet. Mm, yeah, it's just starting to get a little drier there. So let's add some if it soaks it in that means it needs more needs more product it's looking pretty good so we might get away with one application of this we shall see so again I'll leave this on overnight we'll come back tomorrow check on it so let's hit the center console and then the door panels Here's the, the leather spots are here. Here, pretty sure that's leather. This is leather. Not that I really care that much about that spot. And then I got this section here. I think this is leather. Certain, so it doesn't feel like it. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. Soft top looks good. Just put it up because all the bugs and crap they come out here. Let's put the soft top up so that the leathery can do its thing overnight. 
what happens when the when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. The floor. The floor.